Hey there guys, today I'm going to show you how to use the Facebook group admin assist to help cut down on spam and save you a lot of time. So let's go to my Facebook groups here. All you have to do is go to facebook.com, go to groups, and then figure out which one you want to set up. This is our group right here. This is one of my largest and most active Facebook groups. It's called Beta Fish Keepers, no laughing. I have a bunch of Facebook groups, probably around a million members on just like pet care and animals and stuff like that. And I highly advise you guys set up these sedmins in the admin assist in your Facebook group on a PC on a computer. It's so much easier to do. So all you have to do here is get into the tab over here. This is the dashboard on what you can edit all the stuff in your group. See here, the first one is admin assist. And the reason it's the first one is because it's that important. So guys, admin assist kind of helps you do two things here. So it helps you with member requests and it also helps you with members posting spam. So let's first start with member requests. So all this is, is essentially the, the admin assist within Facebook groups is essentially an automatic feature where it does certain things when people don't have certain criteria. For example, the first one I can choose here, I usually just go right past past these to publish a welcome post. I don't really believe in welcome posts. I feel like they're stupid. Whenever I get tagged in a welcome post, I'm like, stupid, like waste of time, right? And this publish a custom post, we don't need to worry about this. So the main thing that saves us tons of time is this feature right here. So this will auto approve a member, a new member that asked to join your group if and then we set these settings and how this saves us time is you don't have to manually go in there as a moderator every time and auto or approve these members this is a setting in a, an assistant essentially to help approve these members automatically if these settings meet a criteria and i have found these settings to be the best here we have it set as to decline a member request if a person has not agreed to the group rules. I highly advise you add that one as your first one. All you have to do is click the add button right here. And then the next one is the person has not answered all membership questions. I highly advise you do that one as well and go set up your questions. Make sure you have good questions as well. And again, if you're getting tons of spammy people getting joined to your group, what I would advise you to do is set up your group rules and then have a specific word hidden in your group rules that a person has to go and read the rules to find that word word have it answered in one of the group questions to be approved um, I know I hate doing this myself but it'll cut down spam like crazy and then this setting right here a person has had their Facebook account for three months or less so again it's going to automatically decline the member if the person's Facebook is three months of age or less that's huge guys this is gonna help you save so much time as you can see over here, we have four member requests right now. And I can literally, once your group gets going, I can hit refresh and we just get hundreds a day almost. And it's it, like the time, the amount of time that goes into this and it's gonna save you is mind blowing. Or if a person does not have a profile picture. So these are the four best settings that I've found to automatically decline member requests. And I know that it kind of sucks declining members, but if you're approving spam bots and just crappy people, it's going to amount to 10 times more time moderating. And then the next setting that I like to figure out here, I like to set up as far as the admin assist in Facebook groups is declining an incoming post, essentially declining any post if, and again, this is uh, approve incoming post if author is pre-approved by an admin. You know, if we find that there's real members, we will pre-approve them and then that way all their posts are just good. But that's, that's not the biggest deal. This is the biggest deal here. Remove a published post if has been reported three times or more. And again, the last setting, turn off commenting if the post has been reported three times or more. Again, guys, these are my favorite settings for setting up the admin assist in Facebook groups to cut down on spam. This is a great way. You can see here at the top of the page here, you can see every day you can log into the admin assist and just, if I click on yesterday, it'll show us the analytics. It says 30 member re requests were declined because of the admin assist. Zero posts were removed. So let's click on these. And again, it'll show you everything. All of these people were automatically declined because of our prerequisite rules in the admin assist. Let me know in the comments if you think this is going to help cut down on spam. Uh, what, what issues are you having in your Facebook groups? Let me know. Hope this helped you learn how to use Facebook admin assist in the group settings. Please consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next one.